So in this video, let's discuss the Groves process. Groves process is a method for the preparation of chloroalkanes from alcohols. In this process, halogen acid HCl is the reagent and the OH group of alcohol is replaced by the chlorine atom. The reaction conditions depend on the structure of alcohols, what alcohols we are using and depending on the structure of alcohols, the reaction occurs via SN1 mechanism or SN2 mechanism. The primary and the secondary alcohols, primary is a 1 degree and the secondary alcohols when react with hydrochloric acid HCl in the presence of anhydrous ZnCl2 they form chloroalkanes. Let us take the example of ethanol which is the primary alcohol. Ethanol reacts with HCl in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride or ZnCl2 to form chloroalkane the ethyl chloride plus water. Let us take another example, secondary alcohol, so this is propan 2 all reacts with HCl in presence of zinc chloride or ZnCl2 to form isopropyl chloride or 2 chloropropane plus water. So, this process is called Groves process, but in case of tertiary alcohols, third butyl alcohol or tertiary butyl alcohol, this alcohol readily reacts with concentrated HCl in the absence of zinc chloride just by shaking with the concentrated HCl, it forms tertiary butyl chloride. So, what is the role of this anhydrous zinc chloride and why is it not used in case of tertiary butyl alcohol? So, the role of anhydrous ZnCl2, this anhydrous ZnCl2 acts as the Lewis acid and helps to cleave the carbon oxygen bond. So, what it does, let us say this is the alcohol. Now, this Lewis acid ZnCl2 coordinates with the oxygen atom of the alcohol. So, this oxygen is positive and this ZnCl2 is negative and as a result this carbon oxygen bond becomes weak and it easily breaks to form the carbocation plus a complex ion and this carbocation is then attacked by the nucleophile chloride ion and why is ZnCl2 not used in case of tertiary alcohols. The third butyl alcohol which is a tertiary alcohol, this is very reactive, why so? Because there are three electron repelling groups on the carbon, on this alpha carbon that increase the polarity increase the polarity of COH bond. So, as a result this carbon oxygen bond becomes easy to break and the reactivity increases. If the carbocation 
is such that it can undergo rearrangement then the product will be a mixture of two alkyl halides uh, here in this case alkyl chlorides let us take the example of this alcohol this is 2 methyl propan 1 all 1 2 3 so 2 methyl propan 1 all so this alcohol when reacts with hcl and anhydrous zinc chloride what happens so first the zinc chloride coordinates with the oxygen atom and the bond between the c and o becomes weak and as a result carbocation is formed so this is the carbocation but this is one degree or primary carbocation which is least stable so rearrangement occurs this carbocation rearranges to become more stable so what happens next this hydrogen shifts with a pair of its electron from this position to this position this is called the hydride shift and we get 3 degree carbocation which is more stable than the 1 degree carbocation and finally when the chloride ion attacks we get a product which is a mixture of 2 alkyl chlorides or 2 chloroalkanes so one will be this this tertiary butyl chloride which is the major product as this 3 degree carbocation is more stable and also we get this product which is the minor product because 1 degree carbocation is least stable so this is 2 chloro 2 methyl propane and this is 1 chloro 2 methyl propane so a mixture of chloroalkanes is obtained so this is all for today i'll see you in the next video till then take care